Real Housewives of Orange County star David Bedore was apparently none too pleased when texts he sent to his ex-wife Shannon Bedore were read aloud by Jeff Lewis on the radio. Shannon appeared on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen on Monday, July 16, 2018, and revealed that David had been angry after the horrible messages he'd sent to her, which allegedly mocked her for her weight gain, were read on Jeff Lewis Live back in May. When asked about David's reaction, Shannon told Cohen, It wasn't pleasant. No. Apparently, David sent several messages to Lewis in the weeks following the broadcast, which ultimately made the ordeal between the former couple even worse. Shannon explained, So he actually texted Jeff for weeks, and then Jeff would read those nasty texts on, the on air. his radio shows. Yes. So, you know, I, let's all learn a lesson here, people. What's the lesson? Don't, don't text, because that, oh, that's, that's, that's the that's, lesson. That's, that's <laughs> that stays as evidence okay. forever. Shannon also went on to shed some light on what her and David's current communication is like. These days, the two speak mostly via text message and email. There's just a lot of anger on one side. Shannon noted that she's not sure why David is so angry since three months after they split, he had a new girlfriend already, Leslie Cook, who Shannon and David's children have met, though Shannon herself has never met her. For her part, Cook has gone on the record to say she is not okay with the rumors that he cheated on Shannon with her. During the premiere of The Real Housewives of Orange County's 13th season, star Tamara Judge told Shannon that David had started a romance with Cook back in October 2017, around the same time that he and Shannon, who'd been married for 17 years, had announced their separation. And given the apparent timeline, it would seem that David may have been unfaithful in his relationship to Shannon towards the end by dating Cook while he and his wife were still actually together. But Cook insisted to Radar Online that that's not the case. Tamara lied about us meeting in October. I assume that she did this to create more drama and bring in viewers. But it is 2018 and this type of bullying needs to stop. Tamara needs to put food on the table somehow, I assume. Explaining that she and David had met by chance toward the end of December, not October, Cook, who is a mother to two children, stated, I didn't go after anyone's husband. I am a good mother and a good person, and I will not allow these mean girls to make up lies about me. Shannon filed for divorce from David, with whom she shares three children, on December 1, 2017. Prior to the filing, Shannon had announced their separation in late October, telling People magazine that she alone had wanted to keep their marriage intact. I felt alone in my marriage. You can do what you can to keep your family together, but you have to have willing parties. You need two people to make a marriage work, and that just wasn't happening in our relationship. David's infidelity also likely played a part in their breakup, as he told Andy Cohen that he thought he'd fallen in love with his former mistress, a woman named Nicole McCacken, during the course of their marriage. Shannon had previously considered McCacken to be a friend. In a Bravo TV blog post, Shannon noted how she and her husband's mistress had once gotten close, only for her to ultimately be betrayed. I thought I was gaining a friend, but she was basically acting, only interested in gathering information for the benefit of her affair with my husband. Regardless of when exactly David and his new flame started their new relationship, with this latest war of words, it looks like the deep rift between the Bedores is only getting deeper.